One of the great, impressive performances, Colin, of week three was what Malik Willis Incredible. and LaFleur did to Tennessee. Can we just Everybody. say Matt LaFleur is a great coach? Oh, he's excellent. I got, you got to get, I've been slow to give him props, but he Same. was just awesome the last two weeks, Colin. I mean, Malik Willis put up 438 total <laughs> yards, the Packers did, three touchdowns in a 30 to 14 win. LaFleur just gushing about his backup quarterback. I just cannot articulate the job that he's done in a short period of time. People can't fathom it, I promise you. You guys don't get it. I know you think you got it, but you don't get it. Uh, what he's been able to do is, I've, I've never seen something like this. So uh, hats off to him, hats off to everybody around him, guys rallying, having his back. Jordan Love's been instrumental as well, just giving him the tips and, and hanging right by his side and helping him out all along the way. You know, I, th I think everybody understands this. We know how hard it is. But as good as Jordan Love was, he had three years. I think most of us watched Malik Willis. I mean, think about what Tennessee did. Tennessee gave him away. I mean, Tennessee didn't give him a real shot. They said, we like Will Levis better on his tape. They just gave up on him. And Tennessee's done some good things with personnel through the years. They just quit on him. And he, he didn't join this team long off season. It was during the cuts, yeah. the 53-man cut. This kid just got in the building. And, and by the way, Green Bay's still kind of rebuilding their offensive line, their tight ends and wide receivers, youngest team in the league. This is just insane coaching. It's why am I hard on coaches? Because you can see great coaching in this league. Yeah. What Kevin O'Connell and Matt LaFleur are doing, they've literally coached the reckless out of Malik Willis and Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold was Carson Wentz. You always like, oh, he's got talent. W wild turnovers. Malik Willis is like, couldn't, I mean, it just just throwing strikes was hard. It, it, last week, you know, Willis didn't, it all check down, short stuff, nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody assumed he can't throw it down the field. First drive, he comes out, two completions of over 30 yards. Throws a back shoulder bomb to uh, Watson on the sideline. I'm like, I did not know Malik Willis could do, I didn't know, I know. he had this. Uh, Colin, he had 158 yards passing in the first half. That was his career high for any game ever. Yeah. In the first half. Um, I do think we probably need to say something about the Packers' defense, which has been tremendous. Yeah. They had seven interceptions last season. In that, in that they have seven this season yeah. after three games. Yeah. Pretty impressive. The well, kid they, uh, the, who came from Boston College. Yes. Uh, I, I'm the head coach name. of Boston yes. College came over, got tired of the transfer portal. Uh, by the way, uh, Joe Barry, Packer fans had gotten very, very oh, yeah. tired of that. So, again, once again, Matt LaFleur has shown an ability to – Upgrade coaching staff. That's a skill for a coach. Very McVeigh-like. Uh, and it also shown an ability to take players and, like, rehab them. I, I, if you had to give me coach of the year right now, one and two would be Kevin O'Connell and Matt LaFleur. And there's good coaches. But uh, what they've Tom, done... Tomlin deserves a seat at the table um, for the 3-0 start, um, right? Mm. Well, I, it's just... It's, it's early. It's not going to all right, I, we don't have to debate that. It's obviously Matt LaFleur. Matt LaFleur is winning with Malik Willis. Stop with the nonsense. Justin Fields was a top pick in the NFL that people saw was great, and he has a great defense going on. And uh, Kevin O'Connell, as great as Sam Darnold has been, who I think has been absolutely unbelievable, is also still a legitimate quarterback where Malik Willis was seen as nothing. Truly nothing. Sam Darnold was at least seen as something. Teams actually wanted him. So what Malik, so what Matt Lafleur is doing is just absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. The first thing I have in my notes that I wrote down, I said Matt Matt Lafleur continues masterclass. Okay, I mean it's just when he knowing when to trust Malik to look like a seasoned veteran, trusting him to you know, it's it's such a beautiful balance between Lafleur putting the trust in Malik to make the right throw, to trust him that he can make the throw, and then also continuing to put the the Packers, you know, the other players in a position to to make a play like Watson, like Reed. I mean, it's just it's just been it's just been perfection. It really has. And then having, you know, Malik Willis use his legs. I mean, his legs, I mean, the, the dude's running around like he's Kyler Murray out there, Lamar Jackson. I mean, it's just it's unbelievable. And it's just so smart because this is what J-Mac uh, kind of was saying in a way where he was like, I didn't know Malik could do this. And again, credit to not only, of course, Malik Willis to being able to do it, but LaFleur, he didn't keep him on a leash. He let him be his own level of special is what I call it. I have no idea how great Malik Willis actually is as a quarterback. Nobody does. Honestly, nobody does. I don't think he even knows. Nobody does because you just you, you, it takes time. But he allowed him to be his own level of special 
whatever that means in that moment. And that's what we saw, right? One of the best things a coach can do is not only put you in a position to succeed, which is what I talk about a lot. That's probably arguably the number one job of a coach is to put their players in a position to succeed. And you better believe that a lot of coaches don't do that. But another incredibly important thing is to empower your players to feel that they can succeed when they're put in a position to succeed. And that's what Malafleur is doing with Malik Willis. It's 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 really that simple. Um, and it was just so smart too because when Malik's legs were were working, it was not like they pulled away from it. They double and triple down. They rode the momentum of what was going on. Have you ever watched a game and the run game is working so well or the passing game is working so well? And rather than riding the momentum, they then change it. They do something just bizarre, right? These these little seven, eight-yard passes are working, and you're moving the chains, and it's good, it's good, it's good. And then they force the ball down the field and triple coverage for an interception. Or now it's third and ten. And it's like you've been moving the chains. The run game has been working so well, so well. Just keep running, keep running. And then they, you know, again, throw the ball 20 yards down the field. And it's like on one side, right, you can't just do the one thing over and over again. You, you got to figure out the balance. Sometimes you got to keep running even when it's not working to set up the run, whatever it may be, right? It's not just, it's not all or nothing. But there are plenty of times in a game when you can see the momentum, you can see what's working and what's not, what a team is having trouble with. And this is when you get some of the really good commentators like the Troy Aikmans of the world. They'll, they'll emphasize, they'll be like, if I were the so-and-so, I would just keep running it, right? Like, it's like, don't get away from this. Don't get too cute. And that's what Matt LaFleur was doing. I mean, his play calling and his designs were just insane and so well executed. Because that's the other thing. So well executed. You can see a team when they're well coached. When, when they're, how do I want to put this? When their level of play, confidence is a, is a word that we often use. But it's just, there. there's no doubt in what they're doing. There's no questioning. You see lots of time, especially in football, players look, I don't want to say confused, but it's not smooth. It's sure, they can still do the plays. They can still succeed. But it's just, there, there's clearly a lack of proper execution, right? And it could be such little things. It doesn't have to be like really strong, like, oh my God, you just completely blew the coverage. Or, oh my God, you just dropped the ball. You didn't know the ball was coming to you. There's just, there's just, a, there's just different levels to it, different levels to it. And so you can just see that they're just so well prepared. They know what's at stake. They know that they need to play their best. They know they have a backup quarterback. They're, they're just so well prepared. Perfect example, honestly, as of right now, will just continue to be until the Packers went up it. The Packers versus the, the, the Cowboys in the playoff game. To me, that will that will be the peak example of a team that was so well prepared, so well coached, and and was executing the game plan flawlessly, compared to say the the Cowboys who were not. Look at the Cowboys against the Ravens tonight, uh, yesterday, or whenever you're watching the game, you're watching this video on Sunday. Their opening drive, penalty, 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 couldn't even get to the 30 yard line. They were lost from the jump, from the jump. Okay. That's not the Packers. That's just not the Packers. Um, you know, again, it was balanced. Uh, Malik Willis had easy layups. A run game, right? A great run game. 37 carries, 188 yards. 73 of them came from Willis himself, which, again, is gr amazing. But then also let him stretch the field, right? So, again, it was balanced. Compare that to what the Chicago Bears are doing with Caleb Williams. Okay, who's supposed to be better than Malik Willis? I understand Malik has a little bit more time in the league, but he's supposed to be better than Caleb. Uh, Caleb is supposed to be better even as a rookie. He just is, right? And they have Caleb throwing 52 times, doing nothing. I mean, the Packers just beat the Titans, played way better than the Titans. Um, they played the Packers played way better than the Bears played the Titans mutual team, and same thing against the Colts. The Colts just beat the Bears. Okay. And um, the Packers beat the Colts convincingly with, again, Malik Willis. So to me, those are just such perfect comparisons of like what coaching and execution does versus I don't really know what's going on with the Chicago Bears. Well, you know, I have that in separate videos. So, yeah, I mean, you got to be on cloud nine. If you're a Packers fan right now, 
I don't know if you're going to be able to put it all together to win the Super Bowl because winning Super Bowls are really hard. But this is what I said, and I feel so justified in this now. I really do. I didn't even know I was going to say this, but I got it. I said that with Jordan Love and the Packers, the team that they have and the coaching staff that they have and the youth that they have, I said they are dynasty building. They obviously don't have a dynasty. They obviously got to win and all that. I said, but this is what's at stake. I said, if they get this right, if they get the contracts right, and if they continue to get the culture right and get lucky with health, because you always need luck, not even just health, but just luck in games in general, that a dynasty is at stake. A dynasty is at stake. This is what you do. You'll be able to win these games with a backup quarterback and not only win, but like look unbelievable. What do you think Jordan Love would be doing right now? And again, I don't want to overstate beating the Titans and the Colts, right? Let's not act like it is the Chiefs or the 49ers or heck, even the Cowboys. So we do have to keep it in perspective. But this is what great teams do. This is what elite teams do. And they're not winning because of just the lack of deficit of the other team, right? They're not winning just because they're like, oh, well, you know, the other team is just really giving them the victory. They're taking it. They're playing great. They're not just taking advantage of some of these weaker teams. They're not They're not only are they taking advantage of the weaker teams, but they're showing why they're better. There's a difference, right? Sometimes you take advantage of a weak team and it's just like, all right, we're not as good right now, but we can just lean on this. We've, we've seen the Chiefs win the games like that in a lot of ways when they're not playing their best ball. It's just like, well, this team is just making lots of mistakes. We're just going to minimize our mistakes and we're going to win. This is like, no, 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 no. Not only are you weaker, but we're also going to impose our will as well. We're also just going to show you why we are significantly better. So you just have to be so excited if you're a Packers fan. You have Matt LaFleur. You have such a great young team. You're able to win games without your franchise quarterback who's going to come back, be healthy. He's probably going to be rusty for just a, I don't know, a half a second. And then it's going to be cruising, cruising. Um... Exciting stuff, honestly. Really, really exciting stuff. So, um, but yeah, those are just my thoughts. I'd absolutely love to hear yours. What do you make of the Green Bay Packers? Um, what they're doing as a whole, as a team, what Malik Willis is doing, Matt LaFleur. Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. It's whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I'd absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much. See you next time.